Right, it's time to get some paint on. Hey Mini Enthusiasts, how are you doing? Welcome back, I hope you're having a great day. Today, we're gonna to get some paint on. We're gonna get some paint on the underside of the boot floor prior to fitting the subframe back in, so it's gonna look really nice. Um, we're not gonna do the seals because they're gonna be painted when the whole body gets painted, but obviously, underneath the boot floor, um, it'll be back on all four wheels with a subframe in when it comes around to painting, so that needs doing now. Uh, the paint we're gonna use, I've used this plenty of times before, it comes as a kit from the company called paintsforyou.com. I'll stick a link down the bottom. This video is not promoted. I don't, don't get a discount off them or anything like that. It is just very good paint though. Um, it costs 25 quid. So what we've got over here is over 100 quid of paint. Uh, some of these cans are sort of half full. Um, but I've used it on uh, Sprout in the past. I wasn't sure about the colour match to begin with, but that was just where the paint had faded on the outside of the car. When you looked at the inside bits, the colour match is actually spot on. Uh, and probably the biggest uh, testimony for this paint is I used it on PL, which is Aramanth uh, pearlescent colour. Extremely difficult to match, uh, but this stuff is just perfect. It goes on great, it dries quickly, it doesn't crack, it doesn't peel, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't react with anything. It just works really, really well. So uh, it comes in a three stage process. So you get your primer, you get your base coat and you get your lacquer um, and it comes with instructions how to use it. You can't go wrong. I, I swear by this paint. Um, so yeah. Let me stop waffling on. Let's get this painted. Uh, I can't wait to get it painted, actually. Things always look better when you put some paint on. So thanks for tuning in. Let's do it. <laughs>
done now um, I did actually do two coats of base although I didn't video both coats uh, and lacquer had a couple of coats as well but I'm pretty pleased with that again that paint goes on very well the only bit I've missed I think just where I had it masked up was the behind the fuel pipes there but I ain't worried about that that's gonna get left not gonna see that um, but yeah pretty pleased like I say, great paint that um, paints for you stuff. Goes on really nicely, dries really quickly, gives a great finish. Uh, I have probably gone, again, over the top like I did on PL. So it's painted and coloured in, in places that wouldn't normally be. It's far more paint than there would be on there from factory, but it just adds a layer of protection. Same as it's all lacquered as well, which it definitely wouldn't have been at factory. But yeah, that will last quite a few more years. That uh, really pleased with that. So once again, thanks for watching. Next update, we'll be putting the subframe back in. Mm -hmm.